G'day, g'day, g'day. Bonjour, bonjour. Welcome again to another tutorial. This is tutorial number 35 and it's an important one because I'm introducing you to the advanced rule of exclusion. This is the sort of time where you're going to be using uh, this type of rule to get rid of little numbers when you're doing difficult puzzles. Now I'm going to put this up on the, on the clip so you can take it down or write it down if you wish, but it says you're looking for a number in a column which is re repeated only within one block of that column. Let me show you what that means. Here we have uh, a difficult puzzle that I was doing and I decided just to show you uh, these three vertical blocks. Now later in another tutorial I'll show you the same technique using horizontal blocks. But in this particular case um, I want you to look carefully at this column here, column number five. And if you look at the number four you will notice that it is only found in this block in here in this column. If you look at this column and go up, you'll see there's no fours in this part of the column, but the f there's f three fours down in this part, and they are all in this block. Now, when that occurs, and if you look for it and spot it, that's the key, you can now get rid of all these little fours in this block that are not within the column. Let me show you. You can get rid of this four. You can get rid of this four, you can get rid of that four, and you can get rid of that four. Now when you're doing these tough puzzles, the more you can, little numbers you can get rid of, the better it is. And you know what, I've suddenly noticed another little thing, this is, I can finish this off, uh, this tutorial off by showing you this. If you look at this column, there is only one place you can see a one. There it is, right there. Therefore, you can take all those little numbers out. Oh, that gets nice when that happens. And you can put a nice big one in. Now, what's the ramification of that one? Well, that was a pun, that one. Is that you can get rid of this one, and you can get rid of this one. And now we know that if there's a one here and a one up here, the one has to be one of these. So that's it for this tutorial. Have fun looking for these. Bye for now.